yes if we talk about mixing but so so what is mixing whenever you think about mixing so what is the first thing that you need to uh, when 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 you need to think about this right mixing sunte hi pehli baat aapke zehen mein kya aani chahiye yes uh, can i have answer from abir abir can you please tell me what do you think about mixing what is mixing um mixing is combining two things physically okay and what about the mixing method related to the salt formation what you need to think about mixing in the formation of salt mixing anions and cations together you need to think about it in this way that uh, mixing is one of the method that by which we can form what soluble salts right mixing is one of the method of forming soluble salts and you need to think about this that all the time all the time whenever you talk about mixing it is the formation of soluble salt and there must be two reactants one is soluble and one is insoluble right bachcho yes yes sir okay so let's just start with mixing i told you the thing which is more important about mixing it is actually the method it is actually the method to form soluble salt this is method number 1 this is method number 1 for the formation of soluble salts for the formation of soluble salts so we are actually going to form soluble salt formation of soluble salt i told you in the mixing we always use mixing when we have two reactants one is soluble and one is insoluble then we can use mixing method so if you remember the last example we did in the last class which was about copper sulfate so we talk about that whenever we have sulfate it's it's obvious it is a soluble salt and also sulfate over there we need to use sulfuric acid right bachcho <coughs> right bachcho or not yes sir and we know that that if you talk about the properties of acid so we have three different properties of acid we can react with metal we can react acid with metal carbonate we can react acid with bases right so these are the three possibilities of the reaction we know that in acid properties there is no reaction with nitrates you know that when acid metal reacts they will form what salt and hydrogen and definitely we are asking for copper sulfate so it will form copper sulfate over here it will form what copper sulfate carbon dioxide uh oh copper sulfate carbon dioxide and water and in this one it will be copper sulfate and water right and i told you in the last class as well that so that whenever you talk about the less reactive metal they are not they are not capable enough to react with dilute acid so this is not a possible reaction we can only pursue these two reactions right or not Yes. And we know that acids are aqueous. Acids are aqueous, and copper carbonate and copper oxides are insoluble ones. Copper carbonate and copper oxides are insoluble ones, so definitely they are solids. And we know that copper sulfate is also soluble in salt, so it is aqueous. So it is obvious from the equation that copper sulfate is a soluble salt, right? This is a soluble salt, so we are going to make soluble salt and during the formation of soluble salt if if one of the reactant is soluble and one is insoluble we must need to use what bachcho mixing process right yes sir. right bachcho now the very very important thing is that how can we form or how can we use this process this is actually the most important thing right because in exam if you talk about in exams so in exams they are asking for this that you need to prepare salt and you need to define the whole process right so this is the most important thing that ye banega kaise banana is more important four to five marks ke liye aapke paas aata hai so let's let's form the salt right what we need to do for example if any one of them for example bachcho you are you are using the first equation right if you are using the first equation so what we need to do experimentally in the lab 
for the formation of this salt. So the very, very first step that you need to do is you need to take a beaker, right? When you take a beaker, you need to take dilute acid over there, right? You always need to take acid in the beaker, right? So this is what I take dilute acid over there because in the equation it is sulfuric acid. So that is why I'm using dilute sulfuric acid over there. I am having dilute sulfuric acid in the beaker. Then what I need to do, I need to add the second reactant over there, which is copper carbonate or copper oxide, whatever you need to add, right? Any one of them, whatever the examiner gave you or whatever you select your own, you can add over here. You must need to know this, Bacho, that this solid should be in the powder form, right? Once you use the solid in powder form, definitely it will be having more surface area. The particle size is smaller, so definitely the surface area will be greater. When the surface area will be greater, so there will be more collision with the sulfuric acid particles, right? And the rate of reaction will be faster. So it is all about for the faster reaction. It is for faster reaction, right? You are actually going to fast the reaction by a powder form. Also, one more important thing over here is this. You need to take the solid one, the insoluble one in excess. Why we are using in excess, we are using this in excess to utilize all acid. We are using this because we want that to utilize all acid over there in the beaker. Just think about this. Just realize this. We are forming what? Soluble salt, right? We are forming soluble salt. So if we use excess sulfuric acid, so excess sulfuric acid means sulfuric acid will be left in the end. And we are also forming soluble salt. So soluble salt and sulfuric acid, both are soluble salt, both are soluble in water and both are excess in the end. So it will be difficult for you to separate them out at the end, right? So that is why we are using the insoluble one in excess. So it will, it will be easier for us to remove them by filtration process, right? So if soluble one is used completely, so we can easily separate the insoluble one by filtration, right? So what we need to do, we need to add copper carbonate and then we need to stir the mixture. Once, for example, if you're using this one, once all the carbon dioxide released from the beaker, that means the reaction is stopped, right? Then we can do the second step. The second step is what we need to do filtration. So what we need to do, we just need to take what? We need to take a filter funnel. This is what? This is the filter funnel, right? We need to adjust this on stand, right? So I just adjust this on instant, this filter stand, right? And then I just take a beaker over there beside this. I just use what? Filter paper over there. This is the filter paper, right? This is filter paper. Then I just converted all the beaker mixture over there, right? The mixture or the, you can say that the solution over there. So it is definitely going through the filter paper, right? It is going through the filter paper. So the one which is, the one which is actually insoluble particles, they are going to move through here. So they will stand over there. They will, they will stop over here, right? And the rest of all solution go drop by drop to here and will be connected, collected in the beaker like this. So this will be what? This will be filtrate. This will be filtrate and definitely this will be pure copper sulfate aqueous with water, right? And this will be what? This will be residue. This will be residue, which is actually, you can say that this is excess copper carbonate or copper oxide, whatever you added during the mixing, right? Once you have saturated solution, or you can say that once you have solution of copper sulfate, you can make it saturated by heating it, right? So what you need to do in the third step, you need to take a tripod stand. This is what tripod stand, right? This is tripod stand. We use this for heating purpose, tripod stand. Right, this is what I need to place 
Bunsen burner over there for heating purpose, right? So this is Bunsen burner. This is for heating purpose. Bunsen burner. Then I need to use what? A dish known as evaporating dish. This is what? Evaporating dish, right? I just need, need to take what? A solution over here. The copper sulfate solution I just take over there. Once I heat this, definitely the water starts evaporating from here, right? So we need to do this heating. We need to remove water from here till the solution will be saturated. Saturated means the solution in which no more dissolution power will remain, right? For example, the water will be limited and the solute will be in more quantity till the water ability is all over, right? Let's say you have added so much salt in the water that you can't further dissolve it further. That point is known as saturation point, right? The maximum ability of water is over now, right? So you need to keep this till, till, till saturation point. Then what you need to do, you need to leave this for cooling and crystallization. Just leave the solution to cool down and the crystals are going to be formed, right? And then what you need to do, but you need to wash this with cold water, right? You need to wash this with cold water. And after that, you need to keep these crystals on the filter paper. Why we are using filter paper over there to keep the crystals over there? Because if you keep the crystals on filter paper, so filter paper absorb the moisture over there. So in this way, the crystals are going to be Form. solid crystals are going to be formed. So these are five steps that you need to do for the formation of soluble salt. Now, these are the methods. Give it. Sir, एक चीज नहीं समझ आई. Sir, like हम लोग जब copper carbonate या copper oxide को sir जो हम लोग इसके अंदर excess में डालेंगे, sir उसके बाद क्या process करेंगे? Like ये process one थोड़ा confuse कर रहा है. पहले मैं आपने mixing कर ली. Mixing करने के बाद आप क्या करेंगे? उसको मिक्सिंग करने के बाद आपको फिल्टर कर रहे हैं जो आपने एक्सेस डाला है ना उसको आप फिल्टर कर रहे हैं आ नहीं सर हम लोग प्रोसेस वन के अंदर हीट करेंगे स्टर करेंगे स्टर कर रहे हैं वो मिक्सिंग कर रहे हैं ना हम मिक्सिंग कर रहे हैं स्टरिंग कर रहे हैं ठीक है सर तो सर मतलब हम लोग सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड के अंदर कॉपर कार्बोनेट डाल के उसको स्टर करेंगे उसके बाद फिल्टर करेंगे Yes, I am writing over there. Don't worry about that. I am writing also over there because writing is also important because they ask for the written answer. So we need to write over there. So in the first step, but so what we do in the first step, we just take dilute sulfuric acid in the beaker. Take dilute sulfuric acid in the beaker. This is the first step that we do, right? Then what we do, we add excess. Powder, copper oxide in the beaker, right? We do this, right? Then we did what? We did stir the mixture, right? We do what? Stir the mixture. Once the reaction has been over, what we need to do? We need to filter. We need to do what? Filter the excess copper oxide from the mixture, right? Once we did this, then what we have, we have solution over there as a filtrate. So what we need to do, but we need to heat the filtrate till the saturation point. Heat the filtrate till the saturation point, right? We need to heat till all the water almost over, remove from there, and the, the remaining water will have no tendency to dissolve furthermore solute. Right, so we need to heat till that point. Heat the filtrate till the saturation point. And once we heat till there, we just need to stop heating. We don't need to till heat till the dryness. We just need to heat till the saturation point. Once the saturation point achieved, then we need to leave it to cool. Right, leave it to cool and crystallize. Cool and crystallize. Once the crystals are formed, we need to wash them with cold water because they are soluble salts. So if we use hot water or normal water, definitely they are going to be dissolved again. We don't need to be dissolved them again. That's why we are using cold water. So wash crystals with cold water. Wash crystals 
with cold water, right? Definitely there will be some moisture over there on uh, cold water once you wash them with uh, water. So definitely there will be some moisture. So if you want to remove that moisture, so we need to do what? Put crystals between the filter paper. Put crystals between the filter paper. Is that right? But so this is the complete process that you need to understand about the formation of salt by the mixing method. And you just need to keep remember, but so that if you talk about uh, the process, so this is actually, this is actually the process over here till this, it is the formation of salt. This is actually the formation of salt. You have salt over here in the liquid form. And this is actually what formation of crystals, right? Over here, you are doing what formation of crystal from liquid it is the crystals formation of that salt is that right but so question tha g she point 3 may straight the mixture hum likha hua hai hum log isko sal sakte hain likh sakte hain straight the mixture till saturation point nahi aap wahan thodi saturation point tak mix kar rahe ho aap to mix kar rahe ho na taaki reaction ho jaye completely aur jaldi reaction ho jaye you are mixing because uh, the interaction of the particles will be increased right so, so you use this to uh, stir the mixture until uh, reaction happens. Uh, reaction, uh, reaction happens. Okay, stir the mixture. I'm just doing it. For example, in your house, your mother makes a cake. Okay, 